that's what we've been doing for 35 years. It's just like we're adding another element of doing this. The whole natural foods, health food, the whole supplement end, the herbal end is endlessly amazing and fascinating. And of course, you've seen this mass growth in people's awareness. I mean, it, it, we started when there was none of that. This behind me is one of our big 35 year projects. So what we did is we totally revamped the deli and we gutted the whole end of the store, came in and built the kitchen that we've always dreamed of having. We did a whole new thing where we've got street side ordering, which we're really excited about. When the deli's busy, it's like 200 sandwiches a day that, that come through. Plus they have all the salads, all the other things. And we're, we came out with a new recipe with 10 new super smoothies with uh, superfoods in it, and we're doing a whole new, 10 new juice blends that we're doing that are good. And my personal thing that I have a passion about is bringing herbs, herbal tonics, to the general public. So we, we've got an herbal shot bar that we're doing. So we have a whole shot, shot menu with like 10 different types of herbal elixir shots, which you can do to help energy, help your mind. There's one called Diamond Mind that helps you focus. One that centers and calms you. It's, I call it yoga shot for people going to yoga class. Athletic shots that are really good for like opening your lungs, helping your energy for breathing, for endurance and stamina. We are really are gonna keep working on focusing in this area. Uh, all the other aspects of the store though, we keep continuing to work with and fine tune and tinker and work with. So the supplement area is a big area that I work in a lot. We focus on non-GMO. Um, organic foods whenever possible. So we, we really are doing a lot of filtering out of the, the marketplace. We work with local farmers. We can come in and really look for the small guys that are just starting and the, and the small producers that don't have that kind of volume that do it. I mean, one example is Hunter Cattle. So we, we really like having that connection with people are connected to the community and they're connected with their local growers and they feel part of the, you know, what's here. It's just something that we have believed in for so long. I mean, I, I worked on my first organic farm in 1972 when I was 18 years old and I was exposed to it back then. And we've just been very passionate in our belief about this way is really, this is what would lower healthcare costs in, in America. You know, these things, these things are exploding, but people getting out and really taking responsibility for their health and really learning and educating about how to feed the body right, how to keep really well. And uh, it's, there's so much to it. And it just keeps us searching and doing and growing and, you know, providing.